Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Rob Fleming. Thank you, everybody here. I just want to say at the outset, as an MLA, I've never been more comfortable in my life. <laughs> I've never seen so many happy faces. I've never seen so many committed British Columbians that know that the single most important investment we can make is in our children. So I want to thank each and every one of you. I also, having thanked you, I, I do owe you all an apology. At the start of the week, I sent an open letter to Christy Clark and I said she should personally involve herself in the negotiations. <laughs> Little did I know that she would come uninformed with malice of intent and deliberately disrupt and set back negotiations, not come forward with an olive branch, not calm the waters but to stir the pot. I apologize to you for that, for asking her to come off her holiday. I also want to talk a little bit about the work that Rob has been doing as the spokesperson for education for the official opposition. We were working hard in the legislature when it sits. As you know, you have preparation time and instruction time, and we used to have legislative time in British Columbia until we got a fixed calendar. And what did we do with that? We ignore it. But this, this affordability zone is an interesting thing, and Rob raised the pay raises for deputy ministers that Christy Clark initiated shortly after the election. And he, made, he pointed out to the public that the bridesmaid to the premier, a woman named Athena Methalopoulos, got a $30,000 increase year over year. Now, a shame indeed. I don't, know, I don't know where the affordability zone was on that, but I do know that the response from Ms. Methalopoulos was to issue a writ suing Rob Fleming for defamation. Shame. So, in Premier Christie Clark's world, you don't deserve fair compensation. In her world, her bridesmaid deserves a $30,000 pay increase, and if somebody questions it, he gets sued. And let's add a little bit of insult to injury. Who's going to pay for the lawyers? You are. That's outrageous. So E80, E80 is in play because the rights that were hard fought and earned in the courts by teachers want to be taken away by Christy Clark on the courthouse steps. She believes the only rights you deserve are those that she gives you. I say that's wrong. As Canadians, we all have rights. As BC Teacher Federation members, you have rights that were hard fought for. Do not give them up. Yeah. To Mr. Fassbender. To Mr. Fassbender, I say... To Mr. Fassbender, I say, you failed at negotiation. You don't understand mediation. You couldn't spell arbitration, so how about resignation? Brothers and sisters, the values in this court today, the values in this square today are shared by people across this province. We've just come back from Kamloops where 800 teachers would have been here were they not defending the rights of citizens in that town, walking picket lines, demonstrating and getting support from parents, businesses and people right across the board. The Premier's on the wrong track. It's time to get with reality, support teachers, support education and let's get our kids back to school. Keep it up. Keep it up. We've got your back. Thank you.